What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is a T. You can call me Tia or Sunny, whichever one you like. And today I am hype as crap because, girlfriend, I can finally show you guys a bomb twist out. Yes. <laughs> finally, like, let's get into it because your girl did her thing. After like 50 lem failed twist outs, I finally got a good one. Well, this is my second good one, so. Yeah, now I feel a little bit more confident to show you guys. So if you want to see, then let's just go ahead and get into it. The first thing I did was part my hair into four sections so it can make it easier when I detangle and with the twisting process as well. I do believe I have high porosity hair since my hair dries kind of fast and it receives moisture pretty quickly so because of that i spray my hair with some water throughout um, me detangling it and i also add the Mio leave-in conditioner to make the detangling process easier because detangling on dry hair and hair that doesn't have any product on it that has a lot of slippage um it will lead to breakage which is not what we want like nobody want that okay Now for the twist, I love this TPH twist and set. This is my go-to. Um, I've tried plenty of other twisting products that just didn't work for me, but I take a good bit of this on my finger and spread it evenly throughout my hair. Um, also, you'll notice that I'm taking a big section and the reason being is because my hair is fine. I have a lot of hair, but the actual hair follicle is thin so that's what fine hair means if you didn't know but i'm always experimenting so next time i do want to take smaller sections to see if it's going to be more defined um and i also want to try twist on stretched out hair i'm going to try a lot of things this year so stay tuned for that Another twisting technique I want to try is three strand twist. Um, right now, I could just do a cute little two. You know what I'm saying? I haven't entered that expertise level of doing three strand twists, but we'll get there, okay? Baby steps, baby steps. So after 20 minutes, this is how they look. And the next day I unravel them. So I let them dry overnight. Like I said, my hair is high porosity, so it dries fairly quickly. But to unravel them, I use the rosemary mint scalp oil from me L. Girl, not me showing y'all the ingredients and not the like actual label of it. Who wants to see the ingredients? Girl, get it together. My bad y'all. <laughs> Just me, then just 
But yeah, once I take them down, I use some more oil to just go in and erase those parts with my fingers. This also just helps to loosen up the hair and, you know, put some oil on my scalp because we don't want to be dry and flaky. Oh, and of course, you all know I love my volume. So we got that wide tooth comb. You can use a pick if you want, um, but I just find it easier to use a wide tooth comb. But I'm about volume all day. Volume over definition is always a yes for me, okay? So yeah, that's my current twist out routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions about the twist out. And also what you wanna see next, let me know. Um, subscribe to the gang. Like if you are here and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe girl. And oh yes, let me not forget to plug myself for my Instagram, okay? Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at naturally.sunny. You know what I'm saying? We get it popping over there too. You feel me? Uh, I love you guys so freaking much. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, girl. Um.